perspective. It's what we all need. A lot of your goals and your ability to actually achieve them may not even be related to your ability or to factors that you think are affecting you. It could just be your lacking perspective. I know this was true for me. So the chances are, if you're a go-getter or if you're someone who procrastinates a lot and never makes a move on things, you're probably trapped inside the framework, the mental model you have in your head and how it's relating to the world outside. The software in here is what's keeping you from getting where you want to go. And the way to update the software, believe it or not, isn't learning something new. You got to go outside, especially with the pandemic and the way it is. If you can find a rooftop, a uh, park, um, somewhere where there isn't a lot of people, right? Because you want to be safe. Try to find some type of location where you can get some perspective. Preferably, it be uh, some kind of hiking trail with big rocks and massive trees and like distance that you can gaze off into. You just need perspective. You need to be able to look at the world for what it massively is and not get stuck in the day-to-day -day things that you have to deal with. If this means you have to bring your family along, fine. You've got to find a way to make it work for you because you need internal space, not external space. And yeah, sometimes meditation can offer you that. But what I'm talking about is being able to just be outside you know, humanity spent a lot of its original time outdoors, trekking a lot, hunting, looking for resources, things of that nature. And lately we've been spending a lot more time indoors, especially since the pandemic hit. So <clears throat> it's gonna affect the way we see the world and the way we respond to things. Uh, one easy way to relate to this is moms who have uh, kids that need them a lot, especially, I mean, this happens to all moms, but especially moms who have very young kids. What tends to happen is the kids want to be around you and touch you all the time. And then the last thing the mom wants to do is be touched by the husband. And the husband deals with it because then they feel neglected. And it causes all these problems. And it could, be a, uh, it could remove sex out of the equation. And it's just all these things. And it has to do with internal space. It just feels crowded. So a lot of what you might actually be experiencing isn't the lack of ability. Um, it it isn't even the fact that you need to learn new skills or that you have no idea what you're doing. It could just be you need to reset, relax, and get some perspective. So I encourage you and challenge you to set aside 20 minutes, if not today, because the sun is still up here, but it, on your side of town it might not be, then at least tomorrow, set aside 20 minutes where you really just go outside, go for a walk, look off into the distance and get some perspective. The world is bigger than your problems. It's much bigger than your problems, which means there's way more room for happiness than you're allowing yourself to see right now. And way more room for possibility than you're allowing yourself to see right now. But you need to take the time. This isn't something you can hustle and make part of your to-do list. I'm saying to put it on your to-do list because I know you won't do it otherwise. But try to make this more of a habit than a to-do. Make it part of your behavior, your lifestyle, if you will. Just like binge watching at the end of the night, your one of your favorite shows. Um, whatever the case may be, uh, masturbation might be a habit for you. It's just part of your life, right? Like a serious habit. Um, uh, eating an ice cream, whatever. I'm trying to find the quickest way to deliver the point to you. You got to make it automatic. You got to make it part of who you are. We need to be outside. I encourage it.